Pew, pew! Pew! Psh, 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 psh. Take that, you awful redcoats! Get out of here! The Continental Army will battle tirelessly for American freedom! The Revolutionary War victory will be ours! Hey, Layla, want to take a break from working on your report and play war with me? I can't, Leo. I'm so behind. I came outside to take a brain break and maybe get some inspiration. You still can't decide on a revolutionary war hero to research? Not yet. I mean, I can go the usual route and write about George Washington or Paul Revere, which would be a breeze since we've learned about them on our time travels. But I really want to do my report on someone not many people have heard of. Ooh, wait, this could be interesting. Who did you find? Look what it says here. The legend of Molly Pitcher, a fictional woman who represented the many women working on the battlefields during the Revolutionary War. I had no idea women were even involved in the war. Hmm, the legend of Molly Pitcher. This has to be based on a real woman. Let's use the history app and see if we can find her. Yes, let's go! <laughs> It looks like the app brought us to the Battle of Monmouth in 1778. You mean we're actually in the middle of a Revolutionary War battle? Where are those stinking redcoats? Let me at them! <laughs> Alright, take it easy, Leo. It sounds like the fighting is nearby, so we're gonna have to be really careful. Wait, do you see that woman over there? Maybe that's the woman behind the legend of Molly Pitcher. Let's go check it out. Excuse me, ma'am. What are you two doing out here? Get back inside immediately. This is no place for children. Oh, man. Do we gotta? Leo, please excuse my brother. My name is Layla, and this is my little brother, Leo, who is actually trying to ask if there's anything we can do to help. Isn't that right, Leo? That's right. I'm sorry, ma'am. Apology accepted, young man. By any chance, would you happen to be Molly Pitcher? Molly who? <laughs> no, my dear. My name is Mary Ludwig Hayes, and if your children are going to be out here, then yes, I could most definitely use some help. You can start by filling a pitcher with water for me to bring to the soldiers who have been fighting all day. They're incredibly thirsty, and their cannons could also stand to be cooled off too. Yes, ma'am! I'm on it! Is bringing water to the battlefield your main responsibility during the war? We women have many different roles in our fight for freedom. We go where we're needed and do what we can to be of help. Nice, because my brother and I have traveled here to learn all about what women did during the revolution for my history report. Well, I can most definitely help you with that. Some of us are here because we followed our husbands, which is what I did. My husband enlisted in the Pennsylvania Artillery and is currently serving in the Continental Army. I joined him at the army camp and am responsible for washing clothes and taking care of the sick. Those sound like really important things that need to get done. What other things do women do? In addition to being laundresses and nurses, other women are cooks, seamstresses, and supply scavengers. Some women even put on soldiers' uniforms and join the fighting when they needed to. Did I hear that right? Well, I don't need a disguise. I'm ready to get me some red coats. Just point me in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you are a true patriot, Leo. Many young men share your sentiment. But what really warms my heart and fills me with the American spirit is seeing both men and women working together to win our freedom. Men and women are different and have distinct roles, not that one is more important than the other. In fact, men and women complement each other, and we have all pulled together to accomplish the mission of fighting for independence from Great Britain. I love that. Everyone's different roles are important, and both men and women are doing what they can to create this country and fight for freedom. You've hit the nail on the head, young lady. When we work together and use our different strengths, we can do tremendous things. Well now, maybe you've heard of this. When we come from, there's a legend about a woman named Molly Pitcher, who's said to have been a combination of a bunch of brave women who took on different roles during the war. But I'm thinking you might be the main woman the legend was created after. Hmm, what would make you think that? The name is my biggest clue, Molly Pitcher. Here you are filling up buckets and pitchers of water to bring to the soldiers. And Molly is a common nickname for women who are named Mary. So maybe your theory is correct. But I cannot and will not take sole credit. 
There are many other women whose contributions during the war must have also inspired the creation of this legend you speak of. Oh yeah? Like who? Women like Margaret Corbin and Deborah Sampson. Brave women who nursed wounded soldiers back to health and who, not as commonly, operated cannons and even served in the military. They are women of the revolution who should have their legacies cemented in this country's history. I didn't know any of this. It's a bummer that more isn't written about all the great things women have done during the war. There's not that much about you in any of my textbooks. I can undoubtedly say that we are not lending our support for the recognition. We do it because it is our patriotic duty to our country, a country that I know will be a beautiful place of freedom and prosperity. Mrs. Hayes, come quickly. Your husband has collapsed. His station at the cannon has been left open and is about to be retired as there is no one else to man it. Oh no, this is awful. My husband and my country need me more than ever now. I must take up where my husband left off. Children, stay here. Try to fill as many pitchers as you can. I'll send some women to retrieve them from you. I'm going to take my husband's place at the cannon to help keep it firing against the enemy. You can count on us, Mrs. Hayes. Wait, you're gonna go? Without even a moment's hesitation, my dear. Wow, you're one tough cookie, Mrs. Hayes. You sure are. Go be with your husband. Leo and I have got this under control. Mrs. Hayes, you're back! Phew. Oh, how did it go? Did you show those redcoats who's boss? Did you teach them not to mess with America? Under the brilliant leadership of General George Washington, it looks as though the British are retreating. General Anthony Wayne wanted to push forward. <sighs> but Washington saw that everyone was suffering from heat and fatigue. He's allowing us a little time to rest. That's great news, Mrs. Hayes. How's your husband? Thank you for asking, my dear. It appears he's going to be all right, thank God Almighty. A victory all around! Thank you, Mrs. Hayes, for teaching us all about how women served their country during the revolution. My pleasure. Good luck with your report, Layla. And remember, men and women have different strengths. And when we unite for a common cause, our differences work in harmony with each other. Together, we can accomplish great things. Bye! Goodbye! Good luck! Pew, 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 pew! Psh, psh, psh. Yes, General Washington, we shall forge ahead to gain on those nasty redcoats. Why, thank you, Mrs. Hayes. Look, look, look. This water is very refreshing after having been in battle all day. Would you like to help me load the cannon? Oh, hey, Layla. How did your presentation on Mrs. Hayes go? It was a huge hit. Like me, none of my classmates really knew too much about what women did during the revolution. I was happy to share what I learned from Mrs. Hayes and teach my friends that even though men and women had different roles, together they were able to achieve a common goal. American independence! That's right! Some researchers even say that George Washington was so impressed with her bravery that he met with Mrs. Hayes to recognize her for her contributions to the war. Woohoo! Go Mrs. Hayes! That's a really big deal! It is, and hopefully more and more people will get to learn about how much Mary Ludwig Hayes and women like her honorably served of their country. Here's to all the women of the revolution. If you like time traveling with Leo and Layla, watch more of their adventures at PragerUKids.com. And parents, don't forget to subscribe.